So it seems that categorical perception is something that's part of the mammalian biology, and that happens to be something that the human speech system harnesses. And why why is that? Right? Why is it why is it useful to have categorical perception? And it has to do with something called the lack of invariance problem, which Myers here. Uh, in a 2017 article describes this way, which I think is very illustrative. So no two utterances of a particular phoneme or sound, for example, the p in the word pick, are actually identical. It might be the case that someone would produce her p sound with a voice onset time of, say, 70 milliseconds, and sometimes with a voice onset time of 90 milliseconds, and might produce p with relatively shorter voice onset times or pronounce the sound with longer voice onset times. You have a lot of variability in the pronunciation of the sound which we categorically perceive as p. And add to that the fact that the sounds abutting the p will bleed into the consonant. The p sound in pick, for example, is acoustically different from the p sound in poke, right? Pick, poke. We perceive that first sound as a p, but it's actually acoustically, acoustically, excuse me, quite distinct. So uh, this is the basic issue. An infinite number of acoustic patterns can map into a single speech sound, something that we need in order to understand how words are formed in our language. We need to perceive as a single speech sound, but it, it's not a single sound. Acoustically, it's very variable. It's, uh, so there is a lack of invariance. There is a lot of variance. And Myers continues uh, to convince yourself how difficult it can be to translate acoustic cues into words, so why categorical perception is such a great thing. Try any commercially available speech recognition interface such as Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa. Say a single monosyllabic word such as pack clearly and slowly, and the system is reasonably likely to identify it correctly. However, if you repeat the word pack quickly, you may get a multitude of responses in different tries. Siri thought I was saying back, back talk and part. And again, you can see this yourself when you try to use the transcription, automatic transcription when you're dictating uh, to whatever, whatever your, your, whether it's Google or Amazon or Siri, um, and it doesn't get it right, right? Because the acoustic signal is actually really mushy and hard. So again, having this kind of categorical perception helps deal with all of the variability that's actually there in the acoustic signal. And the human speech system does not deliver the entire auditory content to the point of conscious awareness. We don't perceive all that variability. We categorically perceive these. We lump things together so that certain things all sound the same. We usually can perceive only acoustic differences that matter for meaning. That's why this is so helpful. Maybe they may be in place to help our brain's limited resources focus on only the most important aspects of the speech signal. So this is that, again, the overall this link between categorical perception at why it's helpful, right? Because of all the variability, the lack of invariance 